YouTube, it's Kathy. As you've probably figured out from the title that I'm going to do a tag today. I haven't done one in a really long time and I saw this one over on Jen Campbell's channel and really enjoyed it. So thought I would just give it a go, no planning whatsoever. So I'm just going to do the questions and probably have some cop out answers for you. So this of course is the autumn reading tag, which explains why I'm wearing my Targaryen toque and my winter is coming Elsa shirt. Cause you know, autumn, winter is coming. Also, winter just never seems to come in those books, except for metaphorically. Anyway, question number one. Are there any books you plan on reading over the autumn season? I don't really divvy up my reading by I'm going to read these books in these months specifically, with the exception of the one book a month for my book club that I go to. I mostly just watch a lot of booktube and then go, oh my god, that book sounds amazing, put it on my library TBR, get a hold notice that says I have like 15 holds to take out, realize that this is unmanageable, put them on a list to slowly trickle them into my life. Also, I have like 70 books in my house I haven't read yet. So I don't have a definite TBR for this season, but I do have definite books that I want to try to get to. Basically everything that's coming my way from the library in the next little while, as well as I think I really want to take that plunge and finally read Patrick Rothfuss and be just as eager for the third book to come out as everyone else. Number two. September brings back school memories. What did you most enjoy studying? What were your favorite and least favorite subjects at school? So I tended to hate pretty much everything that we were told that we had to read for classes, which is absurd for a lot of the things I'm sure I probably would have enjoyed them had I read them on my own time because I loved reading on my own time. But there's something about being told you have to read this that makes me go, uh, it's gonna be boring and I'm not gonna like it. Not to mention, sometimes teachers don't know the right way to tell you that you're going to enjoy a book. For example, in university when I had to read Pride and Prejudice, if somebody had just told me it was sarcastic, I would have loved it. However, I don't even think I read it. I'd probably watch the movie because Colin Firth. No, that's a lie. I definitely read it. The only book I didn't read for school that I was supposed to read for school and I read the cliff notes instead was Lord of the Flies. And it was, it's not a great book, so. That being said, I actually really loved English class. Maybe because I enjoyed arguing with my teachers. That might have been a thing. Also because in English class you could get away with doing creative projects, so instead of just having to write a paper for something, you could get away with, for example, explaining all five acts of Hamlet using different songs from Les Mis and writing parody songs. And then of course when your teacher says you're no longer allowed to use Les Mis, you just move on to Jesus Christ Superstar. I don't know if I had a least favorite class in high school because I was kind of a big dweeb and I really loved going to school, but one class I hated in college was an entire semester long course on how to use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and PowerPoint. I figured that shit out in five minutes and was super bored for the semester. Number three. October means Halloween. Do you enjoy scary books and films? If so, what are some of your favorites? I love scary books and films. As a kid, my email address actually was horror flick chick because I loved horror flicks so much. I will pretty much read and watch whatever happens to be scary. To give you an example, my favorite movie when I was four years old was It. Tim Curry is the man. I don't even know if I want to watch this remake. Why are they remaking it? It was brilliant. Why? Why are they remaking it? So of course that obviously means I'm a huge Stephen King fan. I also read some Dean Koontz as a kid. I was really into Christopher Pike as a kid. I actually had an entire drawer of my dresser just filled with paperbacks by Christopher Pike. And I remember being 12 and reading them and being like, huh, this book, remember me, it has the F word in it. I'm an adult. Also, I'm really looking for recommendations for scary books because it's been a while that I've found one that's a really, really scary book that isn't just somebody I've read before. So if you have any recommendations, let me know down in the comments below. The most recent things I've found have been thrillers like Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. And although that was a great book and yes, it was scary in a way, it's not quite scary as just like mind messy, which, is also good, but I want some scary stuff. And like everybody else with Netflix, of course, Stranger Things. It's, it's just great. Number four. With November, it's time for bonfire night and fireworks displays. What was the most exciting book you've read that really kept you gripped? I don't know if I can figure out what my all time most excited one is because that puts a lot of pressure on me and then I just can't think of any title of any book ever. But the most recent book that I read in a super short amount of time was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I read it within 24 hours of being on vacation with my mom, which you can see in this video up here. The characters were adorable, the writing was just super easy to get into, nice brain candy type of thing, and it had a really interesting plot line, so I enjoyed it. It more so had me gripped than anything, I just really wanted to know what was going to happen. Number five, what book is your favorite cozy comfort read? 
I am not a big rereader. I don't really reread things very often, almost ever, in fact. So there's no book that I go to to really be like, oh, well, this will make me feel better because I love these characters. Like, I know people that have reread Harry Potter a gajillion times because they just love the characters so much. And while that's fine, I've just read them the once and I only read them three years ago. Book two, bless me. Instead of having a specific book, if I really just need to be cozy, I go for something that's YA. I know it's going to be easy to read. It's not going to be very challenging mentally, but it's going to be enjoyable. And that's what I'm looking for in a really cozy experience. Number six, curled up with a good book, what is your favorite hot drink of choice? Depending on the day, I like coffee or I like tea. Sometimes I have both of them in the same day, but my favorite one of choice is really delicious hot chocolate. I actually made a video last December about how I make hot chocolate and it's pretty good. So if you like hot chocolate, I suggest you check it out. And this last bit isn't an official question, but I'm gonna look at it anyway. Any plans you're looking forward to for the next few months? Of course, October means I'm going to Geek Girl Con in Seattle. With Halloween, that also means the Halloween show for Atomic Vaudeville here in Victoria, which is always my favorite show of the year. In November, I'm going to Fan Expo in Vancouver for the very first time, which I'm very excited to go to. One, because it'll be a different conference I've never ever been to, so it'll be a different kind of experience for me. And two, there'll be a friend there that I haven't seen in like six years, so it'll be fun to catch up and have a pint. And as a little teaser, come January, I have a really interesting project starting, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it. That is it for the tag. If you would like to do the tag, consider yourself tagged. All the questions will be linked down below. If you have any recommendations, comments, questions, you know where to put them down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you later. Bye.